Alright, I'm going to do a quick haul and then I'm going to talk about what's going to happen this weekend and why I haven't made any videos this week and why I didn't make a review over the weekend. And I will get to all that. Um, no, well, I got some comics. They were all digital. For those of you who don't know, I do pick up some digital. Because, you know, sometimes I just want to read on my tablet, and I like digital. I know that some of my subscribers hate digital and claim it ruins the market for comics, which I don't necessarily agree with that. But I pick up print still, and I pick up digital. It's a happy medium. Um, basically, the only reason I started digital was there were some sales on Comixology, and I, I had to jump on. So, what I picked up on Comixology this week were... Um, Three, no, four Daredevil issues from the uh, Bendis' run his, uh, on uh, Marvel Knights Daredevil. So issues 17, 18, 19, and 20, I think. Something like that. And I picked up Alex plus Ada, the last issue, which I think was issue 13. So, um, beginning of the new arc on there. And it, for those of you who don't know, Alex plus Ada is my absolute favorite comic right now. And no, I won't be reviewing all the single issues, but when it ends, which often Luna Brothers stuff does end at around issue 20, I will do an overview of the whole series. Because it's just so narrative-based that I just want to I would just want to do a large respective video. So those are the comics I picked up. So now we move on to the physical stuff. I've got three novels, well, two novels in a book of short stories and a blu-ray set so they're all all the books are star wars so i picked up star wars the last jedi now this is the fourth book in the coruscant knights series but it's not called coruscant knights because that'd be too easy i couldn't find any of the other coruscant knights books but i've been really wanting to read them because i think it's interesting next this is like my most anticipated review ever this is um, X-Wing Rogue Squad... No, my bad. Republic Commando Triple Zero. No, I wish you guys liked the Rogue Squadron stuff. I like making those. I like reading those, but you know. And you guys enjoy them, but you like... People like the Republic Commando a lot more. Uh, that's what the numbers tell me. And then lastly, I got Lost Tribes of the Sith. This is nine short stories all written by John Jackson Miller about this tribe of Sith who get lost... They get marooned on this planet. And for those of you comic book people who read uh, uh, the Star Wars comics, yes, there is a Lost Tribes, of the, Lost Tribes of the Sith comic. No, it's not based off of any of these stories, but it's the same tribe. It's called Spiral, and it happens in between a couple of these short stories because these there's like hundreds of years apart from each story. And originally, the first eight of these were e-books that you could get for free. And then they released this um, this paperback with a ninth story that was exclusive only to this. So that's cool. I recommend picking up the print. Because it ties into uh, Fate of the Jedi, which ended not too long ago. Uh, and then lastly, the Blu-ray set I got was Blade Runner. And you're wondering, well, that's one movie. Why is it a set? Well, there's four different versions of Blade Runner, and they're all in this set. We got the original theatrical cut, the international theatrical cut, which has like two scenes added to it, uh, the director's cut from 91, and the final cut that came out in 2007. So, that's awesome to have. I've only seen the uh, standard theatrical version. I've seen the stuff that happened in the international cut but I haven't seen the director's cut or the final cut in fact I thought they were the same thing but um, I was wrong so I generally like when Ridley Scott does his director's cuts and the one that springs to mind is Alien which granted he was fine with the theatrical cut unlike how some directors aren't <coughs> Peter Jackson <coughs> or uh, George Lucas but um, with this, with Ridley Scott's, he liked his theatrical cut, but he did add in a couple of scenes, like longer scenes in Alien, which for those of you who don't know, 
there's a weird cocoon scene in the original Alien movie, and that's the main difference between the special edition that came out in 03 and the uh, 79 theatrical version. Yes, I'm a big Alien fan, for those of you who don't know and haven't seen my Fire and Stone reviews. I'm a huge fan of the original movie, and I love the second movie. Uh, three and four are hit or miss, but um, I that's the, the standard uh, difference in Alien, and I'm getting off topic, so let's get into the little vlogging. Now, I usually do save my vlogging for my, um, my comic book like wrap-up video. But I'm going to have to do some of it now, and then I won't tell you everything that's going on. I'll wait for the uh, wrap-up, because I want some perspective on what's going on with the family. So I'm going to be on vacation in Montana. So if you need to contact me, and I haven't said, hey, I will call you on Skype, then contact me tonight. And how you'll do that is if you want to Skype me, uh... I'm going to link my Twitter below. You send me a message on Twitter saying, hey, I want to Skype. And if I know you, like if I've watched your videos or I know who you are, um, we can, we'll, we'll Skype. Or I'll, if I'm in a call with someone, I'll ask if you can, if you can join the call. If not, if you want to talk to me in private, you should let me know. If the person I'm talking to wants to talk in private, I will say, hang on. Um, I'm talking to someone right now, so yeah, that's happening. I'm gone for the next four days, uh, so that'll be two weeks without a review on Sunday, which the review has been done. I finished it Monday, like I got I got really lazy. I shot it on Saturday, thinking uh, forgetting that it was Easter Sunday, and I realized, you know, I really don't feel like dealing with YouTube on a Sunday. Um, and then this week's been hectic. I worked, I actually opened and closed the store today, which was interesting. And um, it's just, it's just different. I've been busy wrapping up shit. So if I haven't watched your videos, which I haven't watched like almost everyone's videos, I think I've watched two videos this week. And um, I've been focusing on my podcasts because I decided because I want I listen to two different types of podcasts I listen to iTunes podcasts which was uh, what I was trying to finish up basically the paper cake radio syndicate stuff I was trying to finish up and um, my shout out shout out of the week goes to paper keg uh, I will link their YouTube channel below they do a lot of you Google hangouts that end up being turned into podcasts on iTunes and um, they'll have links to their um, their Tumblr and how you can get their stuff off of YouTube or from Dropbox. Um, all that dandy stuff. So, yeah, I've been, I'm down to one episode left of all of their podcasts. And I'm going to listen to that tonight, later tonight, because I'm all nighting tonight because I, this room's a shit sty. Uh, literally, Bastion took a shit on the floor. I had to clean that up because they, Max and Bastion have just, they made an ass disaster in my, in my fucking litter box. And I know it's not Lacey because Lacey doesn't come down here. Oh, that's like my sister's down here. So I know it wasn't her because I scooped that fucker this morning and they had all left before I went to work. So 90% sure that Lacey's not to deal, not to blame for the nastiness. And they may have even peed on the the newspaper because they're awful. So, I'm going to be dealing with that disgustingness. I have to pack, which I forgot that I haven't unloaded my backpack from school. And I haven't been in school in four months. So, I unpacked my backpack right before work. So, now I have to decide what I'm taking. Um... I nixed the iPod. I'm going low profile. I can't take a knife on an airplane, so I'm going to feel a little naked without that. For those of you who don't know, I carry a knife around with me for work purposes in case I have to cut something and we don't have a box cutter. Um, but I'm taking my tablet, so I have to load all of the comics I bought, and as in like for the past month, 
on there. And so that's going to take forever because I have to monitor it because it's a Surface Pro and the Comixology app on the Surface Pro is a piece of shit. I mean, when I got my Comixology account, I didn't have that tablet. So I was just using it on my phone, and the Android app is fantastic. Would recommend it. Just a great app. And the iOS app is good, too. But the Windows app is fucking horrible. It's atrocious. Don't get that. Just open it up in, like, Google and do it from there. And if you hear the howling, that's Max is howling outside because he's demonically possessed for some reason. Um... So yeah, uh, that's my video for this week. Yeah, it's my only video for this week. Uh, next week's going to be a little weird. I don't have, because I haven't been watching anything, I haven't been reading any news or anything, I've just been focused on work and getting everything wrapped up. Uh, there won't be a can rants unless something really weird happens over the weekend that I happen to see that I want to rant about. There will be a disc case problems, though at least next week and also I don't know I might I have a review re review with friends done I just have to edit it which I can do tonight probably because I'm all nighting so that might be released midweek and I'm doing some extra work that I'll get some nice moolah for so um Maybe I could get a makeup haul, because not a lot came out for me. One print thing came out for me this week, and next week, one print thing comes out. Because I, my pull list is really small now, and hopefully it will stay that way for a while. Because I have shit to do. So, anyway guys, have a nice day. Uh, I have shit to do. And uh, once again, if you want to Skype me, message me on Twitter. If you want to talk to me on Twitter, message me on Twitter. Um, any other means, I'm not going to be checking, so uh, I'll have Twitter open. So go check me out on Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, have a nice day.